Hi you guys, this is Carmen with Connect with Angels or Learning to Connect with Angels. Today I'm flying solo. Rochelle's not here with me. She's in the house, but she's not here with me today. So I want to thank all my subscribers. Thank you so much. You guys do mean the world to me. And I want to let you know I am working on a meditation that Curtis went ahead and suggested to me. Uh, he wanted me to do one on cutting the etheric cords and he also wanted love to be infused and for you to vibrate at a higher frequency. So I've been getting all this um, this information that the angels and God want me to share with you guys. Uh, I was meditating on it a couple days ago and surprisingly I was surprised but father and mother God came through and I'm used to calling him he so please if you call him she or whatever the divine source is uh, you know it's just the way I've been brought up uh, speaking of God as a he please I don't mean to offend anyone or degrade anyone that's just the way I refer to God and so anyway God was letting me know that he wanted to channel the meditation through me and so now I'm wondering you know I wanted to make it the angels but I guess I am going to incorporate the angels and but I'm also going to say that it's father mother God uh, coming through and today I was just receiving uh, a lot of information regarding the meditation so it's not going to be a like the Archangel Michael one because that's its own meditation it's going to be whatever uh, Father, Mother, God decides to channel through me and the angels. So I'm just letting you know. But I want to thank Curtis for the suggestion. And I went ahead and I got my microphone. So I'm really looking forward to writing, channeling the meditation. And um, making my own music to go with it. So in this video, I want to talk to you guys about love. Um because that's what they wanted me to talk to you guys about. As you know, I channel different than my daughter. My daughter can just go ahead and f go into it and channel and talk to you guys. Uh, usually how I channel is, for some reason, I guess because I journal so much, is through journaling. The information just flows through me and I write it. And so they wanted me to talk to you guys about love. And that seems to be uh, a topic that they enjoy talking a lot about because we are created of love. So they want us to know just how much they love us, how love resonates through every cell in our body, through every... Uh, when they show me the love uh, inside us they show all these little sparks of light just floating and floating and uh, almost like washing through but with sparks inside of light uh, that's how they show it to me and just flowing everywhere 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 inside of you and they show me first the body and then they show me your soul the light so you're like a light being just a fluorescent, so fluorescent, um, blinding, and that's what uh, they channeled through me today. And um, I do feel that this is important because a lot of people may wonder, like, okay, why do they always want to talk about love? Because when you love yourself, uh, you respect yourself. And not only that, but you learn to give love to others. Um, there are a lot of people who look look for love through others instead of truly loving themselves. So they're always going through these relationships, and not just romantic relationships, but it could be personal relationships, maybe friends, maybe even family members that you go through relationships like this where... You're always looking for some sort of validation or approval of yourself through their eyes. And sometimes, unfortunately, there's people that no matter how much we do, it's never good enough. Uh, you can never do enough. You could never do it right. Uh, so if you really love yourself, 
you learn not to kind of put yourself down because when a lot of when some of those individuals that might be in your life in your work you know wherever it is it might not even be just like through you it could be like you have a friend and there's always someone putting their negative two cents that individual know that it's not you know that it's them they have a lot of anger inside of them uh, that and hurt that they want to lash and make you feel that pain you know they get pleasure out of seeing others be in the same pain that they're in or even misery that they're in so when you truly love yourself and you know what a special individual you are when you know how special you are how you are in this earth to bring us a gift you are a gift uh, that you give to others uh, it might be through your work it might be through the guidance you give others it might be God you know you might be that teacher or that friend who just dresses what some people call weird full of color by the way that's me <laughs> I love color so I tend to dress like all full of color when I go out and everything and some people just love that. I love that. When I see somebody full of color, they just bring so much joy to me. I don't know. I'm just very attracted to color. So it might just be the way you dress. It might just be your presence that you make someone, especially children. God, you know, you, you might be a gift to children. I, it always saddens me how people undermine kids, you know, and... Um, so you might just have that special gift to let little kids know that they matter and that their opinions matter and that they have a voice and that they're special and that they make your day too, you know. And um, so know that when you truly do love yourself, you know how special you are. and You know how loved you are by Father, Mother, God, your angels. And you don't have to rely on the approval of others and by that I don't also mean go do whatever you want to do and be hurtful to people that's not what I mean it's for you to show that love and you get that love in return from those who get you so when I was uh, meditating and channeling um, they gave me a little exercise for us to do and I would like for you to do it and uh, so let's go ahead and do it I had to rewrite it because when they give me the information it looks like this hopefully you can see and sometimes I'm having a hard time trying to read that to you guys so today I went ahead and rewrote it and then as I was writing it this is how so used to I am to writing in hand that I was like why didn't I just type it you know but anyway, this is it. So first, I'm going to get you in the mood, I guess, to go ahead and do this exercise. I feel it's also important to do exercises so that you take something also from it. So I'm going to call upon our angels. Let's first call upon Father, Mother, God. And if you want to evoke Jesus Christ or any other divine being that you would like to call upon, go ahead and do so. And our angels, our guardian angels, and you may name your guardian angels. I call upon my guardian angels. So I call upon, and my guides, Henry, Anael, Dorian Omaru, Azrael, and Ashintu. And I call upon our Archangels. Archangel Michael, please be to our right. Gabriel, please be to our left. Archangel Uriel, be before us. And Archangel Raphael, please be behind us. I call upon the Principalities and Corians. I call upon the Dominions, the Virtues, the Powers, the Cherubim, the seraphim and the thrones and the millions of legions of angels to be with us, protecting us, guarding and guiding us, ensuring only 
that which comes from the divine light can come through and nothing else. So close your eyes and start taking a deep breath in, slowly. And exhale slowly. Take another deep breath in. And exhale slowly. Begin to see roots come out from the soles of your feet and your spine and see them dig into the earth. And it starts going through the layers, the ground, the gravel, the water. It keeps going, going inside till you see the earth's core and you anchor yourself, your roots go in deep and you take a deep breath of Mother Earth and allow her to come up, up into your feet and you may exhale and continue to breathe in and out slowly in your own rhythm in your own rhythm pattern. Breathe in the divine, the earth light and be thankful for the energy Mother Earth gives you. See your veins light up. See your arteries light up with Mother Earth's gift of grounding you. And she lights you up and she goes into your root chakra, her light. See your light spin beautiful red like a Crayola red, or as I love to see it, as a jello, like the snack, red. Continue to breathe in, in your slow rhythmic pattern and see the earth's energy light up your sacral, that beautiful orange, Crayola orange. And see her energy go up into your solar plexus to that beautiful Crayola yellow, up into your heart, in the grass green, that rich grass green, up into your throat, in that beautiful Crayola blue, up into your third eye, and see it light up into the night sky, its color and up into your crown chakra, that beautiful violet, and up about 24 inches, 12 to 24 inches. Up and see that chakra light up, a beautiful fluorescent white. And then divine light comes through that chakra it enters with this powerful electric thunderstorm lightning. It immediately goes down inside of you, lighting every part of you. You're grounded and you're connected. And I would like to, for you to see either whatever place you live in, an apartment, if you're outside, your home. I would like for you to see your home grow roots and anchor itself into the earth's core. And I would like for you to see the divine light above your home. And divine light does a funnel and knit splits itself and as it goes inside your house your whole house or whatever area you're in becomes consumed with the divine light 
it keeps growing and growing and growing and it creates a protective barrier and your home lies in the divine realm and you may repeat after me and say my home lies in the divine realm the angelic realm with Father Mother God and only divinity can come through and nothing else I am protected continue to breathe in and out slowly and I would like for you to hear with your heart to see with your heart begin to see the divine light go into the top of your head as it makes itself down your neck it goes down into your heart and it begins to concentrate and every time you breathe in and out you also breathe in through your heart And I will now read the message the angels gave me. And I would like for you to visualize with your heart and hear and listen with your heart and soul. This message is a message of love. Love yourselves, dear ones, divine children of Father, Mother, God, you are very special divine light beings and we tenderly and dearly love you love take a gentle slow breath my children and concentrate in your heart breathe in and out slowly and gently and feel your heart tingle with millions of electric sparks of love and light. For we are with you and right beside you. We speak to you from your heart with love. Feel the euphoria of love spreading exploding from the concentration of love that has been sitting, building up inside of you. It is now free to roam and go throughout your whole being. You are filled with radiant sparks flying and dancing all around you. Allow this love to go through every crevice of your being. Allow for it to dance in joy inside you. You are a sparkling, glittering being, blinding light for those who see the power of light and love within you. Resonate and marinate and feel this tingling. Feel the tingling of your skin. This is you sensing this beautiful, loving energy all around you and all inside you. You feel it tingling throughout your whole skin and being. You buzz. You buzz in God's divine love within and out with every breath you take you magnify the love that lies inside you. And we leave you now. We leave you here to meditate and generate divine's true love. So take a deep breath in again and feel the love and how special and how important you truly are. How you mean something to 
God's divine light, to God, to the divine, to your angels, how you are loved and see them hugging you with the most warm, powerful hug. Feel their wings wrap around you. So whenever you feel alone or whenever you feel the need to remember how special and how important you are, I would like for you to come back and do this. Or you may do it before you go to work or before you go to bed. You may open your eyes and I want to thank you guys for joining me and I want to thank you guys. I hope this helps you. I wish everybody could just know how much you truly are loved, how much you matter, how important you are. I really do think that everybody has a mission and a gift to give to this world. And I really would like for you all to know how special you guys are. And every morning, I'd like for you to say, I am special. I am loved. I am a gift to the world. And I deserve love to love myself and to receive that love back. You know, I like to go outside in nature. And just, I feel like happy and I feel the love that's outside. I love to look at my flowers. You know, I'm a gardener. I, before, and everything I planted died, you know. But I didn't give up. I'm like, I'm not going to give up. And now I can pretty much plant everything and it grows. And just to be with nature, it's also important to be in nature. Because it grounds you. Because if you're constantly just wanting to meditate and go, you know, to the, I don't to heaven, to uh, the other realms, you kind of get spacey and airy, and it's good to be grounded. It's good to feel nature, Mother Nature, and to feel her love and to be thankful for everything that she too gives to you. Uh, if I notice that the more grateful I am, the more I receive. And I go outside and I just love to see the hummingbirds and I love to see the beauty of, the beauty nature gives me. The beauty, I, I find that beautiful, uh, rewarding, calming. Uh, I love to go outside and see my animals play and that too shows you the love that's all around you. And there's just nothing better than that. So... I want to thank you guys for joining me. I want to thank my subscribers. I want to thank you guys that have donated. Thank you so much. That means so much to me. It allows me to keep my channel running and going. Um, and if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. And um, I'm really looking forward to doing that meditation. And I'm also going to do another exercise about to releasing, learning to heal yourself. Uh, this one I think is going to be an exercise and then I might make it into a meditation to learn to heal. A lot of us have gone through some experiences that may have happened to us and we think we're fine but every s once in a while that little whatever we think we are okay with, you know, that little, I guess, demon or whatever peeps its head out and affects us and sometimes and so I want to do a meditation that's what I was channeling today as I was washing dishes sometimes you just start channeling information when you're doing stuff so I was channeling as I was washing dishes and it was about healing to uh, things that we may have happened to us that were out of our control especially when we were children maybe even teenagers or just a situation as an adult too that may have happened to you that uh, was out of your control and to learn to heal that I was also being told that I need to do a meditation like that or an exercise so 
thank you you guys so much i really hope this helps you and take care and my love and hugs to you guys you guys mean the world to me bye